this is a great recipe, guys, because it's bendy and it's flexible. So the curry is made out of ingredients you can get from a standard corner shop. So it's very much reliant on tins and jars and pretty simple stuff here. Onions, garlic, a bit of ginger, some chilies. And it's such a nice thing. And if there's ingredients in here that you haven't got, you can swap them out easy. So let's start with the onions first. Coarse grater. You don't even have to use a food processor or knife skills. So just grate this up like that. So by grating, it just kind of starts the process of releasing the sweetness from the onion. So with the garlic, I tend to just turn it around onto the finer side here and just grate that in. Delicious. And then ginger. So the ginger, I just take the skin off like that. And I save this, by the way. If you dry this, you can make fantastic herbal tea. I know it sounds a bit hippie, but in the morning, a bit of lemon zest in there, a bit of mint. It's delicious. And then with the ginger, just grate that in. If you can't get the fresh ginger, you can use dried, just a little teaspoon. And if you can't find that, just don't worry about it. It just adds a nice subtle heat and fragrance to it. So look, that is very, very nice. Get a little bit of oil into the pan like that. And then we'll go in with those three ingredients. To get that going, just slowly frying on a medium heat. It's an amazing smell. So, chilies. I know it can divide some people. Most people love it these days. Some people hate it. You don't have to use it if you don't want it. If you chop up chili, of course, you're going to get maximum heat, right? But if you take, say, two chilies like this and then remove the seeds and put them in as whole halves, Actually, the heat is very subtle and it allows you to pull it out or kind of put it in and chop it up and it gives you real control. So that's what I'm doing in this dish. So take the seeds out with the tip of your knife and then put these halves in here like that. Keep it all moving. Because you've grated the onions and garlic, it really allows the sweetness to come out of those vegetables much quicker, to give you that kind of jammy quality. We like that. OK, so the next ingredient is a curry paste. So you get many flavours, chicken tikka masala. I'm going for a jalfrezi. You could go for bolti or a nice korma. So all you need to put in there is one tablespoon, right, slightly heaped. And this is not a sauce, this is a paste. So that can be like 5, 10, 15 ingredients. They've done all the hard work for you. So these are fantastic. So that goes in the pan immediately. Garlic, ginger, onion, the paste. Wow. So that's guaranteed flavor through and through. Then we're going to go for more cupboard stores, right? Tins of tomato. We're going to go for mango chutney. I'm going to go for some chickpeas. And the mango chutney is really interesting. I'm going to go for one tablespoon again. And that gives it the most fantastic sweetness and flavour. Now, you can swap out the curry paste, easy, and you can even swap out, say, a mango chutney for, like, uh, a beautiful apricot jam or even a little bit of marmalade, right? It's that sort of citrus kind of sweetness that really adds to this curry and you can get some amazing results. So I'm going to use the sugar in this mango chutney to almost amplify caramelisation. And you see, look, it's going a little bit darker now. So, tomatoes go in, and I want to just break them up with my spoon, squash it, scrape all the sticky bits off the bottom, and keep on cooking it down. So the tomatoes are cooking down beautifully. And then we're going to go in with the coconut milk. So the coconut milk will give it that tropical deliciousness that I so love. That is your corner shop curry sauce. Right, that's the base. And from that, now everything is optional. So, you know, absolutely, I want to put some chickpeas in because I love them in a curry. Really, really good and super nutritious. So this is a really flexible sauce, ready to look after whatever you want to put in. I'm going to go chicken today. I'm just going to nick just a little bit of that curry paste, just a little bit, and rub it all in on both sides, just to give it a nice seasoning. Oh, mate. Look at that. Lovely. So look, get a pan, screaming hot, full whack to cook the chicken. And then to go with it, of course, I want rice. So that goes in with a little pinch of salt. Happy days. So one builder's mug of rice to two water. 
Works every single time, guys. You can always rely on it. Enough there for four. So, that's looking good. I'll turn that down. We've got rice on, 12 minutes away. Now, that screaming hot pan is where we're going to cook the chicken. Always good to wash your hands. Keep washing, keep washing. So, at this stage in the game, I want to turn the chicken. Hopefully, it's nice and dark on the other side. Perfect. See how dry that is and sort of charred and scalded. This is a good thing. This is exactly what we want. We want to try and mimic what a tandoor might do. And of course, we haven't got a tandoor, so we're doing it in a pan, but that dryness is perfect. OK, so guys, let's talk about options and flexibility for you guys. If you haven't got chicken, you could have a bit of salmon or a bit of cod or haddock or whitefish and rub it in the same spice and cook it very similarly like this. And then you plop it in there. Easy. You could do the same with prawns in there. Delicious. You could do it, you know, with vegetarian options, like, you know, get some chunks of squash or cauliflower, toss it in that paste, roast it in the oven. Roast it in the oven or slice it up and cook it in the pan and then get it in here. There is so many options for this sauce. It's going to serve you really well. So at this time, just grab a little teaspoon, have a little taste. Just a tiny bit of salt. Delicious. So that's done. The rice is nearly done. The sauce is banging. The chicken is charring away. The one last thing I want to do is the simplest of all salads. It could be iceberg lettuce, gem lettuce, it could be a bit of cucumber, but basically something fresh and crunchy that's going to rift off this delicious curry. So, absolutely nothing flashy at all. I'm just going to cut it in half and literally slice it up. That's it. And just with lemon juice on it, no oil, it is so, so good. So just grab the lettuce in here. Lettuce with lemon, it just always worked really, really well. So I'll do that. Lemon, lime, even a bit of vinegar if you have to. Give it a little bit of a shuffle up. And it just, it just works in my opinion. Simple, simple, but I love it. OK, let's have a little look at the chicken. Now this chicken, might even be just a little bit under, which is absolutely fine. It's actually quite classic that it's under at this stage. So let's go to the thickest part. Is it under? Yeah, you can see it's under there. Right, don't be scared. This is quite normal because we're going to plop this into the sauce. And by not overcooking it at this stage, it means it will be succulent when it's in here. So the chicken goes half cooked into the sauce, but basically in five minutes. The chicken will be cooked, and this is going to be absolutely incredible. Now is the time to wash your board, wash down. There we go. A simple corner shop curry. The chicken is cooked through. It's going to be good. Right, let's have a little plate up. We get some rice going in the story. <sighs> what would we do without curry? I'm going to take some of this amazing sauce. Just have some of that chickpea sauce first, and then let's get some chunks of chicken. Just so good. And then just finish it off with some poppadom. You don't have to use them, but I absolutely love them. You can get them from the corner shops, either cooked or uncooked. And if you've got like herbs like coriander and stuff like that, you can have a little rip up on top, nice and fresh. A little bit of the old salad on the side. So guys, come on, that is the corner shop curry sauce with chicken and rice. Right, enough talking. Let's have a go. Hmm. Just lovely. You get the stodgy rice. You get the crunchy, lemony salad. You get the really nice chicken. The chicken's really succulent, by the way. It's quite mild, but then you can kind of pull the chilli aside and then just sort of make little mouthfuls hotter. Delicious. So good. Mmm. This curry makes me very, very happy. It's reliable. And what I love about it is its flexibility. The way that you can kind of swap things out. Chicken, you can go fish, prawns, veggie. You can make it your own. Delicious.